it's like it's this is super smooth like they did a really good job now Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all new Cadillac XT6. Now this particular one is in the sport package. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Provo Cadillac here in Utah for giving me some time with this XT6. This particular one is available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for Craig. He'll be more than happy to help you out. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 25 on the highway with power puts being 310 horsepower and then 271 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front end of the XT6, which I absolutely love. Every single time I see one of these on the road, I always have to double check because it's just a really cool looking vehicle. So you guys can see we have kind of like a subtle body line there, kind of right here in the center. It's, it's again, very, very subtle with the ridge and then more prominent there on either side. And so it kind of lends to a cool design on the hood. Obviously the whole grill is blacked out, but then you've got the silver accenting around and then you have the Cadillac logo front and center. And then you guys can see here, we've got LED headlights and then notice with the daytime running lights, similar to what you have on the Escalade. Parking sensors there on the front end and then the trim down below is also blacked out. And so, yeah, from a front end perspective, this thing, I mean, it literally looks like a mini Escalade. It's so cool. Now, coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 235, 55, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And you guys can see the wheels are all blacked out. And if you guys are wondering, there's a little bit of adhesive on the wheels. This literally just got off the transport truck. So shout out to the Provo Cadillac for letting me review this car right away. I really appreciate it. But you guys can see here with the red brake caliper definitely cool with the contrast between the black and the red that is for sure i love how the fender flare is body painted we've got another cadillac logo here on the side and then notice xt6 there down below on that chrome strip mirrors are body painted door handles are body painted so really uniform with the color but again those black wheels definitely pop so here's our key fob for the XT6. You guys can see we've got the unlock function, the lock function, remote start, and then the opening there for the hatch and then the alarm. And of course, Cadillac logo there on the back. So we'll press this a couple times and the hatch will pop right open. Now, first off, we've got these nice metallic plaques on either side and we got a little bit of storage space underneath that. Obviously, we've got the floor mats here kind of uh, weighing it down. Now with the seats, notice with the second row that you can lower them down. And then with the third row, we can actually lower them down and raise them up. So bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada bam. I know I had to make sound effects, but like, look how fast that is. That's like as quick as it would take you to pretty much lift them up. So there's, there's literally no downside to the automated system. That is neat. Anyways, press that button right there and that will lower the hatch right back down, which is yeah, definitely a little bit slower. Now, finishing things up with the rest of the rear, I love the Cadillac taillight design, especially on SUVs. It looks really sharp. Got our all-wheel drive badge, XT6, and then you guys can see we've got our 400 badge there on the other side. And then notice with the silver trim right there, and again, Cadillac logo. I love the covers for the exhaust tips. Those look pretty cool. Actually, did I just get faked out? No, I didn't. I was like, for a second there, I thought it wasn't an actual like cover for an exhaustive, but no, no, there's, there's an exhaustive in there. Anyways, there's the rest of the rear. Now here's a door panel in the back. You guys can see really nice leather trim here at the top. And then we've got this beautiful carbon fiber down below. And it actually is pretty cool with the coloration. It's kind of like dynamic. I'll try to show you guys in the front um, when the sunlight hits a little bit, it's, it's really neat. Anyways, more leather trim down below that. And then this has the Performance Series sound system from Bose. Really good sound system, by the way. I've listened to it a few times and it bumps. That's all you need to know. And then here are the seats, again, full leather perforated in the center portion and here's kind of like a full view of that and then popping in it's really easy to get in you just slide right across and here's the headroom and then notice the little storage pocket there so my camera's really struggling with this because of the uh, sunlight but basically this is the climate controls for the rear and you guys can hopefully see you also have like the little seat control there for the heated seats which is another nice 
feature. And then down below here, we have a couple of cup holders and then USB ports as well. And look at these armrests, really nice. Now, you guys can see the rear seats just as nice as these seats in the second row. And so this is a six seater. Now this is built on, well, I'll just say similar platform as the Chevy Traverse. So size in terms of the interior dimensions is identical. Um, so you can fit adults in the back, but what I would say is I'd reserve the rear for kids over long trips, just like most other crossovers, SUVs in this uh, particular size category. And I don't know if you guys can see now, there's like a gold tint. I, don't, I hope this pops up on the camera, but there's kind of like a goldish tint to the carbon fiber. It's so cool, the effect. Anyways, let's head to the front. Now let's go over the front door panel here in the XT6. So really nice leather trim at the top. We got blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. And again, another speaker for that performance series Bose sound system. And then that really cool carbon fiber trim. Then you guys can see the metallic trim that goes to the door handle. And then all of our leather trim down below. All of our window controls right here. Notice the front two are automatic. The mirrors do power fold in. And then we also have memory seats, which is another nice feature. And then again, yeah, I love how you have like the regular Bose logo. Then you got the performance series logo up above. And then here are the front seats. So again, the Cadillac emblem, and then you can see perforated all down the center portion. Ah, I guess the bottom doesn't really want to show on camera, but anyways, power adjustments here on the side. And then here's the pedal layout down below. Really nice looking pedals. And then we have our parking brake right here. This is for the heads up display. Let's pop in. Okay, before I turn the car on, this is what I'm talking about. Look, it's like gold. That's so cool. I've just, I don't know. I think it's so cool, like, depending, like, look at that, look at that shimmer. I did that and I wasn't shy about talking about him. And I so here's the steering wheel for the XT6. You guys can see really nice leather trim all around the steering wheel and again with that cool carbon fiber trim. And then notice even the airbag cover has nice stitching and leather trim on it with the Cadillac logo front and center. Really nice paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel, by the way, like, and just nice material use with that. And then we've got controls for like the volume setup. And then you guys can see over here, we have controls for the cruise control system, which by the way, this does have super cruise. That's why we've got a little line there at the top steering wheel and then a little sensor right there. And then we have our turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and well, there's the steering wheel. So here is our center gauge cluster. You guys can see we've got the analog gauges on either side. Then you do have a screen there in the center, which we can use to scroll through different bits of info on the car. And then like, you see like music, navigation, you know, pretty normal stuff overall. But notice how we are actually in two wheel drive right now. So we do have some different drive modes we can go through. Um, so we've got an all wheel drive mode. And then we have our sport mode, which is also all wheel drive and then off road, which yeah, is also all wheel drive. The touring mode, however, is two wheel drive. So pretty cool that you can uh, change that. And obviously having two wheel drive means you can get better fuel economy. So here's the center infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel, bird's eye view. And yes, this has GM's full 360 camera system. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of that functionality on it's great. Now as for the rest of the screen, response time, even though this has the uh, plastic covering is actually Really solid. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I love how you have the video recorder function as well. And then I like how there's like controls on the side. So like for your parking sensors, the parking assistance, auto stop, start, and then like your lane departure. So it's, yeah, it's kind of cool with all of that. But anyways, there's the center. Yeah, they're really, they're really going hard with this carbon fiber trim, but like no complaints because it looks fantastic. Also, there's like a little strip of Alcantara there. And then the rest of the dash is all leather. But yeah, it's just like this long continuous strip all around, which is kind of interesting. We do have our dual zone climate system, heated and cooled seats. And then this is all stitched down here, which is kind of hilarious because it looks like it's just kind of like, a, would be like plastic trim in any other car. So interesting that they did that. But I mean, you know the name of luxury, right? Now we do have this that would cover up this whole section right here, which is like the cup holders. And then you guys can see here with the shifter for that nine speed automatic. And then analog control for the infotainment system. So if you don't want to use a touchscreen, you don't have to. And then your volume control. This is your stability control, your drive mode select. And then here's the center console. Pretty normal. And then we do have a wireless phone charging pad in front. And notice it's like a phone holder. So then you don't have to worry about your phone sliding all over the place. Pretty normal glove box. And we of course have the camera mirror which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. It's a nice bit of safety tech. And then really nice headliner here. I don't know if it's gonna pop up onto camera very well because it's kind of 
dark, but yeah, really nice premium headliner. And then we do have a panoramic sunroof as well. And by the way, the headliner continues onto the pillars and everything. So yeah, just super nice interior. So sorry about the glare here, but here's the window sticker. We have a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, and then a six year, 70,000 mile on the powertrain, which is actually really solid for a luxury SUV. Um, anyways, lots of standard equipment, base price $60,095. This one has the platinum package which gives us a lot of the nice interior elements and after all of the other options with this particular one including stuff like the technology package total msrp is seventy seven thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars and well let's see how it drives Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. You guys can see the heads up display, hopefully. Both of the mirrors. And then, well, of course this radio turns on. Anyways, throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in the X-T6. And this is actually my first time ever reviewing, driving an X-T6. So it, it'll be a pretty interesting. I want to see if this, you know, drives exactly like the Chevy Traverse um, obviously also the uh, GMC Acadia too because you know all sibling vehicles first off seat comfort really good definitely definitely a lot nicer than the Traverse seats I can say that that is for sure yeah they just, just the just the leather it's so like it's really soft and so the seat comfort yeah they've just absolutely nailed it from that perspective and then from a ride quality perspective, really smooth actually. Well, what I was saying before I got interrupted by my own cough, because apparently I need to drink a little bit of water, <laughs> is the, the ride quality is really good. It's like, it's this is super smooth. Like they did a really good job. Now, this does still have the same V6 and the same power outputs as what you have in, you know, obviously the Traverse and the Acadia. It's not a bad powertrain though. It's actually really solid. Nine speed's great. It, I mean, it puts it right into gear. And these paddles, transmission is actually really responsive. Paddles actually feel really good to use. Just like the nice, the nice metallic trim is just yeah, it's solid. So, I think that I think that's a, I think that's an okay test drive route. Still trying to figure out my test drive route since <laughs> just started filming here with the Cadillac or the Provo Cadillac rather. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll uh, sum things up here with the X-T6. So I love the looks of this thing. It's so beautiful, seriously. And then from an interior perspective, this is really nice. Um, I'm honestly like super surprised. Like I I've, you know, since I haven't like reviewed, like I've reviewed the Escalade and that's pretty much it, but I haven't reviewed like a lot of Cadillac's lineup. I've basically just been kind of like judging it based on, you know, what I hear from other reviewers. And they always say, oh, the interiors or, you know, just GM interior, but like, I don't know what they're talking about because like all the surfaces are covered in leather just like what you're going to see with bmw and audi and mercedes uh, and really nice leather at that like super soft to the touch really high quality um seat comfort's great like seriously like this is this is american luxury <laughs> it's super nice so yeah i mean overall i i think that um i think that they've done a fantastic job with this xt6 and yeah, I. if you want, you know, a great luxury three-row SUV, definitely check this thing out. And again, you can get Super Cruise, which is just adds to the practicality. That's going to sum things up for our video on this Cadillac X-T6. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Provo Cadillac for giving me some time with this X-T6. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Ask for Craig if you have any questions. I'll see you.